Hello, I'm Captain Iceblock. My hero pool consists of all the heroes named Storm Spirit and Hero Spirit you, guides on Storm, other heroes, lanes, mechanics, and everything in between. I also stream, coach, and analyze your replays. To support the content, you can get one of those services or just buy me a cup of coffee on Patreon. And with all that said, let's go. Storm clouds are gathering! Today, we'll be talking about under what conditions should a player go aggressive or defensive during the laning stage and how to prepare for it. Let's first observe this exchange. Now, at level 1, Queen of Pain with a dagger delivers more damage than Storm. However, because I held the high ground, this allowed me to abuse the superior position and focus entirely on harassing Queen. This resulted in both driving the Queen out of the lane and getting sweet last hits in the meanwhile, putting me way up in the net worth. Now, this wouldn't be possible if I didn't anticipate the possibility of this exchange in advance and bought a self. If I traded hits with the queen and got low, without it, all she had to do was salve up and go harass me back, forcing me out. Knowing in advance how much region you are going to need to sustain your or the enemy's aggression will often win the lane for you. Let's take a look at another example. Just business, nothing personal. That'll take the wind from their sails. Sky Mage definitely has superior trading capabilities, and while I could trade hits, I realized that he is no longer a threat once he spends all his mana, giving me a free lane, so killing him during the earlier levels is not good for me. He will simply return to the lane full mana and restart the harassment process. Keeping him near the lane unable to deal damage is a far better option, so I buy enough regen to last through his initial spell spam. And this pretty much sums it up. You will always want to bring enough region to either sustain your own aggression or survive through someone else's. Knowing which hero deals which kind of damage helps too. Against burst damage like Lina, salves help return to the battlefield faster, and against smaller damage deliveries like Kanka, tangos sustain better. As long as you're the one that is able to heal up and the enemy is the one that's forced to run back to the base, consider your lane 1. Bruce Blood. Thanks and have fun. This concludes today's topic. I'll leave you with the rest of the match. Good luck. 
denied! Nothing next to ours. Zap. Touche. My dreams unrequited. Let the fun begin. All day. Oh, Zap. Oh, rat. Blown away. Death's cold embrace. Over here. Killing spree. A dominating performance. Double kill. The man down. Whoa, Mega what kill. For a deathbed. Think of it as a new thing. Radiance Top Tower is under attack. Radiance Top Tower is fallen. <laughs> Under attack. I die alone. Ha ha! Not see what you've done. Killing spree. Onage. Killing spree. Over here now. Dominating me again. Double kill. Attack. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are falling. Radiance Middle Tower has fallen. Here I am! Over here now! I'm getting a second wind! Radiance Bottom Tower is under attack. Radiance Top here. Tower has fallen. Whoa, what I miss? Mega kill. Yeah. Ownage. Radiance bottom tower is yeah. under attack. It. Radiance bottom Performance. Onage. Dire victory. 